had to grab some things we're gonna go over I got some uh, work I need to do on these hives I didn't put my veil on kind of hoping they're not in a dive bombing mood today you can see it probably five minutes ago I actually lit this it's still going that's the first time I've even made sure it's still going I had to run inside to get sugar syrup and some other stuff which I make it up right now I'm making it up a gallon at a time but sometimes I make it five gallons at a time if I'm gonna be using a lot but I'll show you what I'm getting ready to do because I, I meant to do this last week and I didn't do it. But I wanna move my sugar syrup, which is on the end, cause I put a package of bees in there. And now that they're building out comb over there, I need to make it where, get this camera fixed. I need to move the sugar syrup where it is right above where they're building out comb because right now the bees they get the sugar syrup from here but they're building out comb over here so they got to travel back and forth to get that sugar syrup so what i want to do is i want to put this i want to move this over to where they're building the comb at so they got less travel and then the brood chamber's here and the brood's doing fine so A little bit of a smoke, let them know I'm here. Everybody says that, don't they? Everybody says the same thing. They're always like, let's get a little bit of smoke and let them know we're here. Like the bees don't know you're there. They know you're there. So over here is where they're building out comb. And basically I'm going to move this board over to here along with the sugar feeder. Then this board to go over here. Then that's less distance they got to travel. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. They're actually building out some comb on the top of this. That's maybe not such a great idea. We're about to see. See what they're doing? I have no idea why. I think it's because that's where the actual sugar syrup's at. So they're building out the comb right where the sugar syrup's at because that kind of makes sense, right? These hives are actually, this hive's actually doing really well. I don't want to interrupt them for like too long, but yeah, this hive's actually doing really, really well. So that right there is pretty much all I needed to do. Just move that over some. Actually, uh, there's where I've got my uh, divider board. Yeah, that'll be all right. So basically, I'm going to go around and do all the hives the same way. Now, the Langstroth hives and the Wary hives, you don't really have that option. You got to put them just wherever wherever the holes are at in the feeder boards but these long hives you can move the feeder around again just going to move this one I kind of figured some of these would need some more sugar syrup and I was right this one needs more kind of the same deal on this where I'm going to be moving this ah, ah, get away from me so I'm going to move this board down to like here So 
swap this board over to here. Try not to make anybody mad at me. And get some more sugar syrup into this one. Easy peasy, on to the next one. Anybody get my X and O <laughs> joke that I did? You probably can't see it on this one. Let me close this lid now that I'm done in there. Yeah, I kind of did that whole X's and O's thing, which I thought was kind of cute. It was kind of like my hugs and kisses <laughs> joke for the beehives. Yeah, so I run out of time to get these hives done. I put X's on this one and O's on this one. Because literally they were here, the bees, I picked the bees up and the hives weren't done yet. So I kind of just had to get it done the best I could huh this in here kind of the same deal where I'm just moving stuff around getting the uh, syrup closer down to where the bees are actually doing the work at Swap these two boards. Get the sugar back on there. Easy peasy on that one too, just the way I like it. So that's pretty much all that I needed to do today. Didn't have to use too much smoke. Didn't really have to use too much sugar syrup. I do need to check this other Langstroth hive over here. It's also got new bees in it. And uh They've not really been using a lot of sugar syrup, but we did have some rain that lasted for about two days. These are the Saskatraz bees. I checked on their sugar syrup yesterday. I'm sure they're probably okay today too. Yep, nearly full. So that's pretty much it for the beehive stuff today. I still have the entrance reducer on this hive because they're still building up. They're basically, last time I looked, they were four or five frames. This was from a package and I put, I had four or five frames of 
that bee right there is not being liked. Um, anyways, I had four or five frames of drone comb I put in here. And then they're, they've been working on the rest, but they're not really getting it drawn out too quick. But uh, until they get, you know, their numbers up, which their numbers should actually start increasing because when I looked Friday, they actually had uh, like a whole entire frame of cap brood. So probably one day this week, I'll remove that entrance reducer. When they get their hive numbers up, I'll reduce that where they can defend the hive. They got enough bees to defend the hive, but while they're still building up in numbers i'll keep that reducer on there it's not the smallest but it's also not you know the the biggest all the way across either so that's the way i do that and uh anyways till next time thanks for watching as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads